Welcome, my name's Travis Pittman. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Tourator. Absolute pleasure to be here today to share a bit a little about Tourator and also about how we're executing upon our vision of connecting people to life-enriching travel experiences. So I'd like you all to, to sit back, close your eyes, think about that next holiday you want to go on. Maybe it's an African safari, maybe it's a, a Croatia sailing, maybe it's actually Patagonia trekking. Whatever it is, things start to come into your head. So sites you're going to see, food you're going to eat, the people you're going to meet, the culture, the history, all those things. Really exciting stuff. But then all of a sudden, something nags you. And it's like, hang on, how am I going to start this? How am I going to organize this? Do I have to get transport? Do I have to do accommodation? Do I speak the local language? What sort of food am I going to eat there? Am I going to get ripped off? And all these things are a very complex part of the travel planning of a multi-day trip of a two-week or a, or a three-week vacation somewhere else in the world. And that's where tour operators come into it. Basically, this is their bread and butter. They have local guides. They know where to stay, what to do. They know the tourist traps. They know where to take you to eat so you don't get food poisoning, that sort of thing. And this is what they've been doing. But the, the challenge that these amazing, passionate tour operators have is that they haven't had the distribution. The only way that they could sell their products was through offline travel agents. And that was through going to conferences and, and doing a contract and then hoping that business comes through to them. And so what Tour Radar is doing is connecting those amazing, passionate tour operators, both global brands as well as small local tour operators, with travelers all over the world. This is a process that's been in place for a long time, but the digitizing of this just hasn't happened yet. And since 2010, Tour Radar has been pioneering this process, combining reviews, photos, video content, to give the social proof and the trust for people to actually be comfortable to actually go on and book a 2,000 euro type experience. So other ways that we also do this uh, and, and get people across the line is providing the biggest selection. So as in every marketplace, it's about choice. And we've been all about getting both big brands right through to the small operators in local areas uh, who run really, really good trips but just have no way to, to get to customers on the other side of the world. The other way, it's a high basket size purchase. And we know that sometimes there's questions that you have about it. And that can be things from pre-booking, whilst you're on the tour, or even post-booking. So we have a 24-7 customer support team there to actually help you along the way. And finally, if you think about a, a Tanzania tour operator, you send them a, a request via their contact form on their website. They send you an email back, and they'll say, please wire me 5,000 US dollars, and I'll be there for sure, and I'll pick you up, and everything's going to be fine. And of course, there's not much trust there, because you've got no recourse to get that money back if they don't actually turn up. So trusted payments allowing the customers to pay in their local currency or with their local card or payment method is key to the success of the platform. So who are we? We're, we've been around for around nine years now. We've had multiple funding rounds. Uh, our seed investors were Speed Invest out of Austria. Uh, we've had Cherry Ventures and Hoxton Ventures do our Ch Series A round. And Endite Capital uh, out of Amsterdam did our Series B. And most recently, uh, we had TCV out of Silicon Valley uh, put in $50 million for our, our big round to now move on to the next stage of the journey. So coming back to choice, for customers, it's really key to know that I've got everything in that marketplace that I could possibly want. And I have the UX, and I have the filtering capabilities, and I have the user experience to filter down to exactly what I want and my needs. And so something we've invested heavily in in the past 18 months is on the supply side. So if you look at other marketplaces out there like Booking.com and Expedia, Booking pretty much won the war because of supply. And over time, we've also realized that, and we've invested heavily into getting more and more suppliers on board. So from 300 operators 18 months ago to now over 2,000, it's really added a huge amount of choice to the marketplace for the consumers. Obviously, with every startup, every business, you need a great team. And it's something I'm very proud of is our team uh, of 250 people globally is absolutely passionate and motivated to really nail this industry and be the absolute leaders of this space. We've got 
great talent, and we've also got really uh, amazing world-class hires from the, the companies that you see up there. And the really interesting thing there is that the, the experience that they bring from other categories and other marketplaces and how that can be adapted to, to our world is absolutely key to our success and obviously taking us to the next level. So we have offices in, in Vienna, which is the headquarters uh, where I'm based, and we have Toronto, and we also have Brisbane, which is servicing the North American and the APAC markets. Our key markets are actually Australia, US, Canada, and the UK. Uh, but the one thing that's worked really, really well for us in the past 18 months has been the US. Uh, we've been doing a fantastic job of acquiring customers there. Uh, there's no real other online players there doing what we do. And everything that we've been doing in all the different marketing channels is, is really proving success. And it's now our biggest market growing the fastest, which is quite rare for a, a business to have the, the biggest market actually growing the fastest. In terms of growth, we also look at travel styles. So as you can imagine, we've heard about sailing boats. We've heard about a bunch of different things. We like to look at multi-day travel as very broad. And on the Tour Radar platform now, if you go there, you will find everything. We have 45,000 different tours and 4 million departures available to be booked. So the breadth of selection and supply is very good. But to be really good at each of those travel styles, you really need to do it in a combined way. So it's everything from supply. So if you, for example, here, river cruise and safari, we've put a, a focus on that in the past a year or two. And you can see when you actually onboard great suppliers, and then you have the platform, and you optimize the platform, you adapt it, you make it flexible to handle different travel styles. And then you actually combine that with world-class marketing and landing pages and, and content that you curate. It's a, it's a great recipe for success to actually really hyper-grow certain travel styles. And Tour Radar's vision is that we want to be the category leader for every single one of these categories. We don't just want to do river cruise, or we don't just want to do safaris. We want to be that for every single one out there. And so it's a, a huge key to our success is nailing that playbook and how we can actually roll that out into other areas as we grow and grow. So finally, I'd like to, to actually finish up with just saying that there's a, an amazing campaign that I'd like you guys to all know about at the moment. It's called Tour the World. And we've got two strangers actually traveling the world together that auditioned. We had 2,000 people audition for it, uh, and we selected them. And they're now actually out there doing 50 days of travel, five tours on five continents, and the entire thing is being videoed and actually with drones and two videographers and a director. And it's on YouTube. So we've had two episodes actually launched already. So I recommend you go type Tour of the World into YouTube, check it out. And it's an interactive travel series where you can actually go down different paths. Um, but we feel it's a, a fantastic way of trying to break the shackles of that negative perception of group touring, is that you're following an umbrella or you're actually following a group around. And so this series is actually a really nice way that we're attracting fantastic footage, which we're also going to obviously use to help people when they're deciding, do I want to go to the Inca Trail, or do I want to do the Inquiry Trail? And so video content and this interactive series is something we're really excited about, uh, and obviously really excited about the future for Tour Radar and, and the path we're on to actually making yeah, multi-day travel uh, very easy, very easy to book. Uh, and something that people realize and think about when they want to go to a, a different place in the world where they don't really speak the language or know where to go or what to do. So thank you so much. Yeah.